Every Nabi came with something. Every Prophet of Allah came. So the every Nabi, every Prophet of Allah came with something that was at the peak at that particular time, but he came with it on a much higher level that would prove that it's not magic and it is not even part of the ability of man, but it is revelation from Allah. At the time of the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him, Isa alayhi salam, medicine was at its peak. You know, people were getting excited about how this one is cured and that one is cured. And when he came in, the miracles that he was granted by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were such that even the person who died was given life by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was a miracle of Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. And the Quran makes mention of it. Allahu Akbar. وَإِذْ تُخْرِجُ الْمَوْتَى بِإِذْنِي Allahu Akbar. Allah says, through our permission, you have taken out those who were dead. And what he used to do? He used to make a shape of a bird and he used to blow and it used to get life and carry on. Allahu Akbar. The Quran makes mention of that. وَإِذْ تَخْلُقُ مِنَ الطِّينِ كَهَيْئَةِ الطَّيْرِ فَتَنْفُخُ فِيهِ فَتَكُونُ طَيْرًا بِإِذْنِي Allahu Akbar. Allah says, Remember, O oh Isa alayhi salam, when you made these shapes, the shape of a bird, blow in it and it would get life by our permission. This is the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Musa alayhi salam, he was at a time when engineering was at a very advanced stage. You find the pyramids and so many other, you know, uh, proofs and evidences of how they were advanced in that regard. What happened? Subhanallah, a little touch of his stick on the ocean and it opened out completely into roads, complete this was the height of it. It's the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who knew and those who bothered to know would immediately believe that this is divine. This is something from Allah. This man is a prophet. This is why the Sahara, those magicians, you know, one narration says they were more than a hundred thousand magicians. Allahu A'lam, exactly how many they were. But make, mention is made of 120,000 of them and mention is made of thousands, a large number. If we want to give the correct answer, we would say they were a large number. So when they being experts in magic came through and they put down their ropes, you know, and they put down everything else, their sticks, and they became moving serpents. So it seemed like they were moving serpents. And Musa alayhi salam for a minute, you know, he was about to put his, his, his asa, his stick down. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthened him and told him, you put it down by our help. And as soon as he laid it down, we all know it devoured the rest of what there was. What did the magicians do? What did they do? They immediately fell prostrate because they knew this is not magic, man. Not magic. This is something, this is divine. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and now I'm fast forwarding to the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What was the in thing? What were they bragging and boasting about? It was language. It was language. They were linguists. They would say, if you look at Umayyah ibn Abi Salt and the poetry that he said, and so many of the other poets and how they used to gather in their little clubs and andia in order to listen to poetry. And they were at a top level, everyone competing with the other, although they were unlettered, but they could, they were very eloquent, very eloquent. So they knew poetry. And they knew speech of man, but they never knew Quran. Because Quran is neither poetry, nor is it the speech of man. Subhanallah. It's something in between that they really were baffled regarding. Completely and totally baffled. So this is why you hear the verses of the Quran. I opened the session this evening with powerful verses of the Quran. And why did I choose these verses? Because they are short, sharp verses directed to a topic of belief and aqidah and what is going to happen in the future prophecies and subhanallah so short and sharp that those who do not want to listen are forced to listen and digest and understand whether they like it or not